piece video i do doing something slightly different and it's a vlog video i've never done a vlog but i just really thought i'm gonna get myself out of my comfort zone um i did do a day in the life video which i will leave in the description box for you guys um i'm going to explain something before i get into the video on the day in the life video we had a little kitten and his name was socks we've unfortunately um got rid of socks not for any fault of socks is any fault of ours basically the person that we had the kitten from we told our friend who's got an autistic little boy and she was going to get a kitten because of his for him with his autism um and we kind of hey sorry guys uh we recommended this woman because obviously we knew the kittens and um about two weeks after we brought socks home we had a phone call off our friend with her son screaming in the background we was like what's the matter the person that she was having the kittens off had let her down she sold it on because she got she got more money um so she was very she was very distraught her son that has got quite bad autism was really 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 bad um and me and nick were we were quite disappointed we were quite upset as well because we was the one that recommended them uh so we kind of sat down and we decided that we were basically we would give socks to this little boy we didn't even tell the mum. we literally put socks in a cat basket with his stuff and we took him we took him down we turned up at the door and she was like what are you doing and obviously she's seen the cat all the cat stuff because we thought we obviously with his autism being quite bad i know from family members that an animal can help an autistic child so we said that this autistic little boy needed socks more than we did and she was crying he was crying just the look of happiness really made me and nick really happy so we're glad that we done our part now this was about five weeks ago I, I haven't really done kind of like an updated video on it i haven't really put anything on instagram just because um it's kind of i miss i still miss socks socks was my kind of like little fur baby um but my family um give me some money for a late birthday we i've got some mental health problems um and quite bad anxiety this is going to lead into what i've got in the back seat guys this is going to ha this i've had this for the last three days and it's helped my depression it's helped my anxiety believe it or not it's actually helped me before i was really struggling wouldn't get out of bed i'd be in my pajamas all day hence why some of the youtube videos was me in my pajamas guys but yeah so she's really helped me out and i just kind of give you a little hint but here she is this is evie evie gorgeous girl there she is she's a nine week old staffordo husky her mum is a obviously purebred husky her dad is a staff slash labrador um and it we had um evie off a friend um because my me my my father went and picked the dog up um she's a beautiful so we knew his friend um and we obviously got the got her off there when he took her to the vets the vets took a couple of days to actually find out what breed she is because the vet has never seen a breed like evie um so like i said after a couple of days he got in contact with my friend and said this is the breed that she is um we obviously don't know what size she's going to follow she could be uh tall and big like a husky or she could be on the small stature like her dad they said this breed is kind of rare or not very heard of so they never know <coughs> excuse me they don't know what size she's going to take the husky or the staff lab we do not know 
so it's going to be a waiting game of exactly how big she is i've had her for about three four days i wanted to kind of get her kind of settled in into trying a little bit of a routine the first night she was really really good she had a few accidents which is to be expected but she's now kind of mastered the training pads so she knows the training pads is for her toilet which she's doing absolutely amazing with that um but yeah so she's got her injections next week i did speak to the vet because where i live it's kind of it's on the street it's no built up areas the vet did say that i could just pop it downstairs literally have her let her have a sniff around see if she'll do any business that's outside and then obviously take her back because we she's got her haven't had in immunizations we've obviously got to be careful guys but already she's made a massive improvement on my mental health and i never thought that would happen i've struggled to get out of bed done everything like that and for for the, in the last four days i've noticed such a change in myself that it's unbelievable she's brought so much happiness to my life already guys and it's just i still love socks i still miss socks i still see socks guys but he was needed with elsewhere and that was why we did it we we thought um that it would be a good idea me and his mum that even though she was quite overwhelmed the fact that obviously give up the kitten but we knew that it was going to be the right choice for this little boy and we knew we would help him and i tell you what guys since he's had socks his name is now dean he's got twice the size as what when i last saw him which was about two weeks ago and he's got a new name his name's dean and he is so good this little boy has literally come out of his shell guys so this is that that her name's evie so she's my new little fur baby but if you guys want me to kind of do a video about my mental health and everything then just give this video a like a thumbs up or comment in the comment box and i will do that for you it's kind of a hard subject to talk about so i probably will cry guys but i will do it because i think mental health is such a big problem in the uk because so many people think it's kind of like a taboo that they can't talk about it i know i felt i felt that not so much now but when i first started having problems i felt that i couldn't talk to anyone about it because i was going to be judged i was going to be mistreated there's so much stigma on mental health and i think it's really important to highlight it and say that there's nothing wrong with it you could have such a traumatic experience from a child or you can have a traumatic experience for four months ago and still get some sort of mental health problem that's depression bipolar anything like that is a mental health problem so i will be doing that video kind of to a way tell you guys obviously about my story but obviously to just bring awareness to mental health and just treat people normal guys so i'm gonna get little miss madam in and i'll check in on you soon look at that that sky peeps in that amazing it's like i said a lovely hot day a little bit too hot but you can't complain when you see the sky like that yeah guys so me and evie are currently waiting for ic because my calibre, well, a suspected calibre on my passenger front of the car has seized up. So we're currently waiting for RIC to come um, to see if they can fix the problem basically for me. I'm hoping that it's nothing kind of like too major or a quick fix or an easy well an easy slash quick fix that's what i'm hoping for it's like oh my god but evie's been good as gold she's gone on a little bit of a walk but it was in a shaded area so and it was quite cold and quite uh, cold in the shade so she did absolutely love it i honestly don't know why i'm yawning guys i really don't but yeah so we are currently sat waiting for rac don't know how long they're going to be and this is going to be a long ass wait i think but yeah um but she's amazing she's going to help so much 
and I just love her. <laughs> so as soon as I know any more about ROC or anything, I will let you guys know as I usually do. Evie is currently sleeping in the back seat because as you can probably tell, we are parked in the shade which is lovely and cool and where we are the wind to kind of come through the car so it's just absolutely heaven guys now it's still on wednesday but we are literally about half 11 as you can see outside it is freezing cold me and evie has literally just got in about 10 15 minutes ago the rac took a grand total of about six and a half hours to actually get to us um because they were really 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 busy in in dorset so six and a half hours i obviously man come out he said that it's definitely my caliper that is kind of broken or just something is wrong with it and it needs to be replaced um he kind of done a little bit of cleaning on it just so that i would be able to get the car home so like i say we are currently home um and she's Evie's had her drink, her water, so she's feeling rather fine. And I'm just exhausted, guys. So this wasn't kind of the vlog that I wanted to film for you guys. I wanted it to be kind of fun and just exciting and just show you kind of all the things I do do. But I didn't expect to be stuck around for like six hours. I didn't really film any of that process because it was literally quite boring, guys. Me and Evie was literally sleeping in the car. <laughs> um, so people was driving past and they could see us sleeping but oh well um, and then literally he was there for about 20 minutes and he, he managed to get it going so like I say it's not as exciting as I wanted it for you guys but this kind of happens quite often that I get a car and I kind of break down so this probably is the right day in the life to kind of film for you guys because the amount of times I've broken down and needed to be rescued is completely unbelievable but like I say, guys, I hope you enjoyed this really weird film. <laughs>